Hello Gourmets! For once in this video, we're going to say Hello Gourmets because we're going to make a dish that I personally make regularly on New Year's Eve. I find it so good, I find it so delicious. It's a cousin of beef wellington but French style. That is to say, we're going to make a filet of beef in a crust and as a garnish wild mushrooms with a little jus, a reduction of veal stock and shallots that you'll tell me about. So, what do we need to make this marvel? We obviously need a piece of filet of beef. Here, in this case 1, 400. We need puff pastry. I allowed myself to make a little and asked my baker to make me her puff pastry so that I can, uh, treat myself while thinking of all the good breads she makes for us and others. So it's the puff pastry of the ICIA. We're going to need bun mushrooms. For the filling, we're going to need mushrooms, wild ones, in this case yellow chanterelles and oyster mushrooms. But they can be CPS, they can be chanterelles, they can be whatever you want. Two shallots, an egg for its yolk to put on top of the puff pastry before cooking, veal stock that we're going to reduce to make a sauce with a little shallot. There you go, now the method, let's start, what do we do? We're going to start by heating the plate with a little oil. We're going to put the puff pastry back in the fridge for now. There's no reason for it to get too hot. And while it starts to heat up, we're going to take our button mushrooms and we're going to slice the heads extremely thinly. Very, very thinly. If you don't have a knife, you can do it with a mandolin. Don't bother because we're going to have to brown them in butter afterwards but they're going to have to lose as much water as possible because since we're going to put them inside our filet, if there's still water in the mushrooms, well when they cook it's going to go away. And it's going to be less pleasant to eat. Here, we're going to start by taking our meat and we're going to say we're going to do what we call marking on all sides. We're going to prepare it there. We're going to put a little sheet because we're going to put the meat back on it afterwards. So that's going to absorb the little bit that leaks. See? I'm not going to take you any longer than that to look at it. So see each side well marked, well colored. Then you take it, you put it back there and you put it a little bit to rest while we slice the mushrooms that I'm going to put in the same pan afterwards and that I'm going to brown. So we'll see each other again when the mushrooms have browned. So tempted that he's gone. See you soon, friends. The mushrooms have reduced, have released a lot of water, are very, very, very thin. So we put them aside, we turn the heat back on, we let the mushrooms cool a little. We turn the heat back on, we put a large knob of butter in a saucepan. We are going to sweat the shallots. Then, once they are well sweated, we are going to put the veal stock and we are going to let it reduce gently for the time that you reach a consistency that suits you. So it can be if you like a little liquid 20 minutes, 30-25 minutes. If you like more reduced, it can go up to 1 hour.
there do that. You saw our beautiful beef fillet, how well it came back. So, I want to tell you that in the real recipe, there are pieces of truffle. We do not have the means. We are not in a region where truffles are accessible. So normally, you have small pieces of truffle that we can put against the meat before cooking and we collect the truffle juice too. Ah, uh, put with the reduction to garnish. In addition, what we can do is that we collected a little cooking juice, mushrooms. As it didn't evaporate quickly enough, we passed them. So we can also put the mushroom juice in that to give a mushroom side. There it comes back well. We add our veal stock. And now as soon as it boils, we put on medium heat and wait for the right thickness. We can add a little salt at the start. And possibly a little pepper but not too much because as it will reduce by half if you add the right amount of salt now, well there will be too much fried later. In the meantime, we will take the forest mushrooms. We will leave them whole except for the large pieces of oyster mushroom. We're going to wash them quickly and immediately put them in a frying pan with butter to brown them as a garnish. So reduction wash at high heat put in the very hot pan and reduce and we'll see each other in a few minutes once all that is started to wrap our beef filet and put it in the oven. So see you soon. So I just unfolded the pretty puff pastry that Loy made me. I'm going to put my crazy on 200 right away. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to take the button mushrooms that we made, you know, dried and minced very thin. We're going to spread them on the dough. So, some people put mustard, I don't. I like I'm quite it's a dish that and that I really give priority to mushrooms. Then, I'm going to take my piece of beef that I'm going to put on top and there, I'm going to come and roll my puff pastry on top. And there too, tack. So here, I'm going to make a little collage with egg yolk. I'm going to close it well. There, I'm going to close it well. There too. Then, I'm going to take my filet and crust. That I'm going to come and install, turn it over on the baking sheet there. We're going to brown it and we can if we want to make a little inscription. As soon as the oven is at 200 degrees, we put it in the oven for 20 minutes.
If you put them a little better than rare, if you want rare, rather 17-18 minutes and if you want a little more cooked 22-23 minutes depending on the weight. We'll see you when they come out. In the meantime, I'm going to finish my mushrooms. And the sauce that reduces. The filet is cooked. We'll see the result. Pretty beast. Pretty little piece. We put it straight away on a board. The mushrooms. There, you saw, it reduced, EH. So, they came back to the pan. Just a little bit of salt and pepper, nothing more. There are some who will talk to me about parsley, garlic, something, no, plain forest mushrooms. And the sauce that I made with butter. My little reduction, did you see? Pop. Now, we're going to see the result. Do you want to see the result, chef? Yes. So, we're going to cut a small serrated knife for the puff pastry. There you go, woohoo. We're going to dress a slice to show. Thanks Leah for the puff pastry. I'm going to try not to be too clumsy. Next to that, we're going to put mushrooms. Mushrooms are the garnish. And here a little bit of our juice and we put some in a sauce boat next to it. There you go. There you go, F bouch. That's what will be for this year. But what year? We don't date our videos. For this year, it will be my Christmas dinner. And you, what are you doing for Christmas? In the meantime, keep supporting us, keep listening to us, keep talking to us via your comments. Grab your forks, grab your knives and Merry Christmas. So, is everything going well?